Thank you, Divya. In fact, joining us uh, now on the broadcast, uh, Senior Congress Leader Mr. Manish uh, Tiwari, former Union Minister. Uh, and this, of course, in context with what has happened today in Surat, where uh, Congress Leader Rahul Gandhi was found guilty and has been sentenced for two years in prison uh, after his remarks uh, in 2019 election campaign, the criminal defamation case. Uh, Mr. Tiwari, thank you for joining us here on NDTV. I want to start by asking you, sir, uh, the Congress party at this moment, there are protests going on uh, in many parts of the country. The BJP says that the, everything has been done according to the law. Why is the Congress making it a spectacle? Well, ultimately, uh, there is a judgment which has been delivered uh, by a court in Surat. And uh, the text of that judgment is still awaited. Once we get the text of the judgment, we would uh, peruse it as to why uh, the judge came to the conclusions uh, that he decided to come to. And obviously, uh, there would be uh, an appeal and uh, the regular course of law in terms of uh, whatever are the statutory appeals would be followed. Mr. Tiwari, uh, you know, now, of course, uh, uh, you know, coming to the question of uh, what the BJP members are raising, they are now demanding immediate disqualification of Rahul Gandhi. They are quoting uh, Lily Thomas versus Union of India, July 2013 case, in which the judgment, in fact, had said that any MP MLA convicted and given minimum two years in jail loses membership of the House immediately. Is there a real threat to Rahul Gandhi's membership in the parliament? Well, as far as I understand from the news reports, uh, the sentence has been uh, suspended uh, for 30 days and uh, he has been given time to appeal uh, to the court of sessions where the appeal would lie. So therefore, we'll have to really await uh, the uh, text of the judgment to exactly see what the judgment is and what is the subsequent order which has been passed. But I uh, would like to reverse the charge and ask the Bharatiya Janata Party that if uh, courts have arrived at certain conclusions, which in my respectful opinion as a lawyer, uh, perhaps are erroneous, uh, why is the BJP ex ex exulting over it so much? So therefore, uh, if there is a legal process which uh, has been followed as they claim, uh, that legal process will then be followed to its logical conclusion. After all, there is a series of appeals uh, which lie till the Supreme Court of India and uh, Indian jurisprudence holds that you are innocent until proven guilty. And that innocence does lend itself into the appeal process also. Sir, but till the time another court, a higher court uh, overturns this sentence, Rahul Gandhi will be presumed guilty till the time any other, uh, you know, higher court comes out and says anything on the contrary, isn't it? Well, essentially, uh, there is a judgment of the of the of the court of uh, I think it's an ACMM's court, and so therefore that judgment uh, does hold the field. But as I was earlier stressing, that uh, going by whatever reports are available in the public space, it seems that thirty days have been given to appeal. Now I am not very sure whether the sentence has been suspended for those thirty days. We'll have to actually await and see the fine print of the order. But uh, one thing seems very evident from whatever media reports are there, uh, that the court has granted time, which is the uh, statutory time available under the law, hmm. in order to approach a higher court. Mr. Tiwari, by Mr. Rahul Gandhi, by not apologizing as far as this criminal defamation case is concerned, uh, do you, you know, the, there are a lot of uh, uh, political commentators and, of course, uh, others, uh, watchers, those who are saying that he is trying to be a political martyr. Is this, uh, you know, a, a, a moment as far as Rahul Gandhi is concerned, a big political moment as far as Rahul Gandhi is concerned, a message being sent across ahead of 2024 elections? Well, essentially, I'm in no position to second guess as to what is the position that Mr. Rahul Gandhi took in court? That is entirely between uh, him and his lawyers. You know, I have not had the occasion uh, of actually perusing whatever proceedings took place in court. And so therefore, I am not in a position to comment about it. And as I said, that being a lawyer, I am a little circumspect till the time I have not uh, really studied the judgment carefully. Hmm. Uh, I do not make off the cuff remarks. 
But sir, you are a politician as well. Uh, politically, how do you see the impact of what has happened uh, you know, today in the court? Well, it's a, a legal order by a court of law. And the remedy lies in law also. And mm. the remedy is, as I've explained it to you, an appeal to the next higher court. Right. But then, then of course, the, the, uh, the question would be that if it is just a legal process and, of course, he has uh, legal remedies uh, left for himself, then why are the Congress members on the streets protesting against it? Well, essentially, uh, you have people who may possibly have a disagreement with the verdict and therefore... Uh, they are articulating uh, their uh, disagreement in whatever manner in which they deem fit. But insofar as the strict legal proposition is concerned, the strict legal proposition is absolutely clear. If you have a verdict by a particular court, the remedy lies uh, in a higher court and that uh, remedy will be energized and that remedy will be availed. Do you agree with uh, your party colleagues, those who have been saying that uh, this uh, is another example of how law is being weaponized against the opposition leaders to silence the opposition leaders? Well, as I told you, I have not studied the fine print of the judgment. I am not very sure as to why the judge has arrived at those conclusions and why the maximum punishment available under Section 500 of the IPC has been meted out in this case. The little that I understand defamation law, and I have uh, had the occasion of doing uh, certain matters uh, uh, in almost every court, uh, my understanding is that if there is a generic comment which has been made, uh, that generic comment actually uh, the courts are circumscribed from taking cognizance of it. But obviously uh, there is a court which has given a judgment, it has uh, handed out a sentence, we will study the judgment, we will peruse the fine print, and we will avail our legal remedies. Do you, do you find it ironic, sir, that Rahul Gandhi, along with few other prominent politicians in 2016, was, uh, uh, you know, one of the petitioners, one of the, uh, who went to the su uh, Supreme Court against the criminal defamation, I mean, to do away with the criminal defamation uh, as far as the Supreme Court is concerned, which was later turned down, and now he finds himself being convicted in the same law? Well, uh, let me uh, jog your memory a little and rewind it a little further back. In 2013, when I was the Minister of Information and Broadcasting, I had mooted a proposal that uh, the criminal aspect of defamation needs to be done away with. I believe that it's a civil wrong and the remedy actually must lie in civil law rather than criminal law. And therefore, uh, that's a view that I held then when I was a minister in the union, and that's a view which I hold even now. Uh, before I let you go, sir, my last question to you, uh, do you see this as an embarrassment or a political opportunity for the Congress party? Well, essentially, all I see this as is a legal verdict. And a legal verdict where the remedy, which I have been stressing for the last uh, five or seven minutes, yes. lies in the law, and that remedy would be energized. Mr. Tiwari, only, uh, you know, talking through the hat of a lawyer, not today as a politician. But thank you so much, Mr. Manish Tiwari, for uh, taking the time out and speaking to NDTV. Thank you.